Now it is time to digest your plasmid for analysis. We have labeled two more 0.5 milliliter microfuse tubes. The first one, PUC-19 and HINDI-3, the other one, PUC-19 undigested. Obtained from a previous lab or the instructor, 10 microliters of plasma DNA is placed into each of the two microfuge tubes. As done before, 2 microliters of 10x fast digest is added to each of the two tubes. Next, 6 microliters of sterile water is added to both tubes. The contents are also mixed by flushing up and down a sterile pipette. 2 microliters of HINDI-3 enzyme are added only to the PUC-19 HINDI-3 tube. Water is added to the other tube. A brief centrifuge will ensure that all the liquid is at the bottom of the tubes. The tubes are then incubated for 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Here we have the four microfuge tubes that have been incubated. To each tube, aseptically add 3 microliters of 10x loading buffer and 2 microliters of cybergreen. A brief centrifuge will ensure that all the liquid gets to the bottom of the tube. With the samples complete, place the gel shown here, making sure the wells are at one end of the gel. Next, fill the gel box with 1% TBE, or running buffer. If there is no fill line on the side of the box, make sure the buffer covers the gel completely. In addition to the four samples, hyperladder will also be placed into one of the wells. Hyperladder is a known DNA size marker and can be used as a reference. As the gels are here, they are in an incorrect position in the gel box. Remember, current travels from the black electrode to the red one. Running a gel in this position would result in a retrophoresis, which is not very useful. The simple solution to this problem is to rotate the gel 180 degrees, such that the wells are now on the black electrode side of the gel box. Do this carefully, as the gel can easily slide off the plate, especially when submerged in running buffer. With the wells appropriately positioned, carefully pipette 20 microliters of the desired sample into each well. When loading a well, make sure to insert the pipette tip slowly, as to not puncture the gel. After slowly expelling the sample, keep the micropipette plunger depressed until the tip is removed, otherwise the sample will be sucked back into the tip. Remember to record which sample is placed into each well. If possible, space the samples a well apart. This will limit the possibility of contamination and make the gel easier to read. With all the wells loaded, attach the cover and electrodes to the box. Set the current to 120 volts and run for 60 minutes. Remember, the gel now has current, so don't touch it as it will shock you. Confirming that the gel is running can be achieved by viewing the motion of the samples down the gel, as shown here. After the gel has run, it is possible to view the bands under blue light. This image will be used to analyze the outcome of the lab.